The main thing leading to the blooms is nutrient runoff from the mommy basin. And the, the main contributor to that is from agriculture. Um, roughly 85, 80% of the phosphorus, which is the main nutrient causing harmful algal blooms, uh, about 80% of the phosphorus is coming from agricultural sources. So there are two reasons why the problem went away, at least temporarily. One is the blooms moved offshore. Secondly, because they changed their treatment methods. They added more charcoal to the mix to, re to reduce the concentrations they saw. I think we'll definitely see harmful algal blooms in the coming years and probably some pretty bad ones. Uh, very comparable to what we saw this year in 2011, which had been about the two worst uh, years of algal bloom events on record. Um, we have done some work looking at climate change impacts, which are likely to occur in northwest Ohio, and there we do see bigger storm events happening and bigger spring rainfall events, which will lead to more riverine runoff and more phosphorus coming out of the basin in the coming years. So based on that, I think that we will see some pretty, blue, some pretty large bloom events in the next decade or so. I think there's a couple of things that need to happen. One is, one is encouraging the farmers to adopt these best management plans, but I think a little bit of the onus is on researchers such as myself and others at Ohio State and other institutions to better identify which management plans are most applicable for different farmers. So depending on what type of soil you have, what type of crop you have, and other, other characteristics of your farm, there's going to be certain best management plans that are better for you than for others. And we haven't, we've, we're doing a pretty good job of identifying those best management plans that are best suited to individual farmers, but I think we could do a better job. Field the Faucet is a, is a program to improve water quality across the state of Ohio, largely focused on Lake Erie right now because of the Toledo crisis and the ongoing harmful algal blooms that happen there annually. And the idea is that it, it's, it looks end to end. So it looks at solving the problem on the fields where most of the nutrients are coming from that cause the harmful algal blooms. But it acknowledges that in order to improve water quality, it's probably going to take a decade or longer. While that's going on, we have to be mindful of the other end of the system, the faucet end. And at, at that end of the system, we have to be able to provide drinking water for citizens of Toledo and other coastal communities while the harmful algal blooms continue to happen. And there we have to improve our capabilities of treating drinking water to eliminate the toxins that result from the harmful algal blooms.